my previous video showed you how you could copy and paste polyline strokes in Resolve 17's Fusion page. Now it's slightly different if we want to use just the regular strokes. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can copy and paste those. Uh, first off, the one procedure is pretty much the same, and do it by publishing the stroke. So I'll demonstrate that here. So I'm going to start off with just going up here into the menu here, I left clicking on stroke. So I'm going to draw my first stroke here. So I'm just going to draw a circle. And then for the second one, you can just draw anything because you could basically be replacing it with the copy. So I'm going to draw a line here. Then over to the inspector here, I'll go up to modifiers. Now we have three different strokes, but this is the one that's pending. So if you just click on either of the other ones, that one will disappear. Now what we want to do is from the first stroke, we want to make sure that's open. So we'll double click on that. We're going to come down to stroke controls, expand that. And down at the bottom, it says make editable. So you click on that, then right click. We're going to publish that. Then we're going to go to the second stroke, which is just the line. Basically do the same procedure. Go stroke controls, make editable, right click. And this time we're going to go to connect to the polyline and value. And that replaces it with the copy. Now, right now, like in the previous video showed that if you do it in this kind of way, if you take any point and move it, you're going to be joined between the two different copies. So that's great if you want that. But if you don't want that, come to your second stroke, which was the copy, double click on it, come down to the right click for animation and just choose remove publish one. And now they'll be independent. They'll be able to work on them independently. So I'm going to show you the second way to come back to paint here. We're going to start over from scratch. So I'm just come up here. And I'm basically going to, going to reset the paint node. Now, if you notice the modifiers are still highlighted up here, like there's still a modifier. If you just click out of that paint node and then click back into it. You'll now see that that is gone. It's reset. So now we're going to come back up here. We're going to choose a regular stroke. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make a circle. And then I'm going to make a line again. This time, come to modifiers. Again, just click on one of the strokes. So I'll get rid of the third one. But now it's going to be slightly different. Is we're going to take stroke two. And I'm not exactly sure why it works this way. It seems to be kind of counterintuitive to the way you'd think you do it. But for this way of doing it, the second way, you right click on the second stroke, which is the line. Click on copy. Then you go to the first one. And if you click paste setting, it's going to copy over the second one to the first one. But it makes a makes another stroke. So, so now we have three strokes. We have the original one. We have stroke two, which is the line, and then we have a new one, which is the copy. So you can just come up here to stroke two, right click, hit delete, and that gets rid of the line. Now you have your two separate copies. And you can come in here and change the center, or change any of the parameters you want. And you can just keep doing this for all your if you want to copy it multiple times. But that's basically the two different ways you do the copy and paste with the stroke instead of the polyline stroke. So again, it's a little bit different, but it's similar techniques. So I hope you found this video useful and I do thank you for watching.